seven hours in the car did us in. Should have only taken us five. Major traffic. So my tip for traveling with kids is to see if you can find a hotel with a pool. <laughs> so my husband took the kids down to the pool. It is 10.05, really 9.05 our time. And they're gonna go for a swim. But they've been cooped up in the car all day. So what we did too is we found a P.F. Chang's right near our hotel. I look a wreck. But um, that way I could get my veggies in and it could still be a delicious meal. And so I'll show you the spread. So I told you I'm doing a different way of eating. So I would normally at P.F. Chang's get the veggie fried rice, but I'm not having any carbs. I'm having veggies and protein. So this was asparagus. And I shared that with my husband. He pulled out his broccoli out of his rice because he doesn't care for it. So I'll probably have that tomorrow. I'll put it, there's a little fridge in our hotel, so I'll take that with us. Got some edamame, so I'm not gonna eat all this, but this is my protein. And then I also got some cauliflower. I don't even know what it is. Um, it could be fried, but you know what? It's veggies, it's late, I'm making it work. I think it's, I don't know. It's good, but it's not great. This is so good, but it's spicy. And then, because we wanted something fun. We got Zevia. This is no sugar soda, sweetened with Stevia. And it's delicious. Go. Candy? Yeah. I don't think so. Amazing. I see this is a kid big league chew. Cool. Where are we? Cool. We just did Laurel Falls. What'd you think, Charlotte? It was fun. It was very tiring. Yes. Very far walk upwards and then downwards again. Yeah. It was a mile and a half up, a mile and a half back. I um, 
I don't get winded or get tired very easily anymore, but I did today. And I think because the air is thinner up there, that's the excuse I'm going with. But it was also uphill the whole way. Going down was a whole lot easier. So now we're going to go drive up to the top of the mountain, different spot. Let's see what we can see. Still no black bears. What kind of wildlife did we see? We saw a centipede and a butterfly. butterfly. That's pretty much it. That's it. <laughs> I know. We went to the Welcome Center. We were hoping to see Bobcat. The water's cold. Is it? Oh yeah. So we just finished Laurel Falls hike and it was, I guess, a little over an hour and it was fun. It was really good. And this is one of our favorite spots to take photos. We go here and usually when we come here, it's like the fall or winter time and there's like snow and ice and it's kind of cool to be here now. But um, I figured because it's summertime, we'd see some black bears. So far we've seen no wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really fun like we love this and we've traveled with friends here before and um, they're like oh we didn't even know there's mountains to go up and I'm like that's all we do when we're here we just love the mountains so I know a lot of people come to Pigeon Forge and there's just a lot of touristy stuff and we've lived near Orlando before and I've lived Niagara, near Niagara Falls and those big cities have um, you know Ripley's Believe It or Not and um, Titanic Museum and just so much like touristy stuff we just come here for like the nature and the climbing and and it doesn't cost anything you just come and explore and it's fun for the kids so we're gonna keep going up the mountain so I wanted to hop on really quick and tell you guys that um, part of this like non-scale victory has been being able to keep up with my kids so I'm not getting winded and I'm able to hike and keep up with them and just explore and not feel like I'm completely exhausted so it's not just about the scale and not just about losing weight and feeling good in my clothes although that's been a bonus but it's also been having energy to do things <laughs> like hike hey wonderful friend so I'm pooped <laughs> Um, we're staying at a massive cabin with all of my husband's family and um, a lot of them are night owls so everyone was up until like 12 1 o'clock something like that and we're not we usually get up at like 7 you know 6 something like that and like get going for the day and then we come back and crash so I'm running on not a lot of sleep so I got back to the um, cabin it's the afternoon and I really want to do my workout but I am so sleepy I feel like I could take a nap but I don't want to waste any of my time here in this gorgeous place so um I brought my bag in here I have like all my journals and notebooks and books and so I thought maybe I'll just take a few minutes I'll drink my pre my lightning juice and just take a few minutes to reflect and then um and then hop to it because I need to work out.
home. Bread. He's listening to you. Look at the ears. Day three, another hike, and this one is on a completely paved path, and we have done this one since my kids were little. You can take, um, it's at the base of the mountain when you get to the Smoky Mountains here, and uh, there are abandoned chimneys, or like, it used to be like a settlement that was here, and um, we've taken our kids here since they were little. Hello! <laughs> You can take strollers, wheelchairs, it's, and there's benches. It's very serene. There's a river. We just love it here. It's right but we've been there, doing this actually. since we were the kids were little, and now we're here with their grandma. So it's kind of fun. See, they're back there. One of my favorite spots in the whole world. Right here in the Smoky Mountains. That'd be a cute picture. So we just finished the Christmas shop and um, I got a personalized Christmas ornament. Um, there's 15 of us here, I think, from our family reunion that we're at. And you can get personalized Christmas ornaments with all the different people on it. So I tried to find one with 15 and I think the most they have is 12. So um, I wasn't able to get it. So what I did is I just got like one Christmassy ornament and then had them write it on it, the Madeira reunion. I wonder if I can unwrap it and show you. So right now they're in the candy shop, which you know, normally I would try a little bite, maybe not necessarily buy anything, but the smell is intoxicating and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here. So I just told my husband, I was like, I'm not even craving a coffee, but I was like, if we go to Starbucks across the street and I have some stevia in it, I think I'll be just fine. I don't think they make fudge sweetened with stevia. Wouldn't that be nice? Because then I could have a treat too. So let me pull up my ornament, I'll show you.